What's up guys, this is Lakeum here, we are back with yet another trove video on the channel and today we are going to be talking about how much flux you will actually be able to earn when it comes to gardening the exact amount because a lot of you guys have been asking us these questions about, okay, how much flux do you actually earn including the cost that it cost you to, you know, get those plants out of the way. Right, so in this video, we're going to be teaching you guys how you can actually calculate these numbers on your own. Yes, it's going to be really, really simple. So just hear me out on this because it is going to be a series of simple calculations that even you with a calculator will be able to do in a couple of minutes or let's say one to two minutes. So without further ado, let's begin with this video and with a couple of examples. Now in this video, we are actually going to be using the upper bounds of the prices just as to not overestimate the amount of flux that I will be able to earn per seed, if you understand what that means. So in simple terms, we're going to be using a marked up price of the items that we will actually be using so as to not overestimate how much we will be able to earn per seed. So in this video, we are going to be using none other than the eye stocks of QB Glue seeds as an example. I've already got the calculations right next to me. So we are going to be running you guys through how you can actually calculate how much flux you will be spending and the amount of flux you will be earning per moonlight bulb and crystals when it comes to these eyes of QB Glues. So how do you actually calculate the profit that you'll be able to earn? Of course, in simple business terms, calculating the profit will just be taking your total revenue in which the amounts you will be earning from this seeds and you're going to use that to minus the total cost. Yes, the cost that it took you to actually craft these seeds and that will be the total amount of profit that you will gain. So let's calculate the totals and let's calculate the cost amounts and we are going to be talking about how much flux you will be able to earn per moonlight bulb and crystal. So of course, when it comes to eyes of QB flues, right, we're going to take a look and check how much eyes of QB flues are at right now. So as you can see, there is going to be one listing of three and the rest of the listings will be at, at about 3.4 to 3.5. It is going to rise over time. So let's just say the eyes of QB flues as of right now are going to average at about a total of 3.5 flux. So with this in mind, we will know that each harvest will grant us 750 eyes of QB flues. So multiplying 750 by 3.5, that will give us at about 2,625 flux. Now, with this out of the way, we know that we will be able to harvest these eyes of QB flues a total of four times if you are actually using the golden watering can. Don't worry, we will include the cost of the golden watering can later on in this video because this is already a calculated amount that I have just calculated before making this video. So. With that in mind, we've got the total 2,629 flux. We're going to multiply that by four, four being the amount of times we will be able to harvest these plants. And that will put us at a total of 10,500 flux revenue. Revenue is the total amount that you will be able to earn when it comes to this one seed. So the total amount of flux that you will receive or a total amount of flux in eyes of QB flues per seed will be at 10,500 flux. So we are going to be leaving that number in a some corner for right now and in the corner of our minds right now. And let's now take a look at the cost it takes to actually craft these eyes of QB blue seeds because we are going to be taking the total revenue and we're going to use that and minus the total cost in order to get the total profits that we will be able to obtain. So let's start off with the day drops. So as you can see the day drops right here, we are going to require a total of these 300 day drops. So we're going to head on over into the market and we're going to search day drop and they will be priced at about 3.5 to 4 flux. So let's go on the higher and the upper bound and we are going to be taking 4 as the amount it takes to buy these day drops. So 300 multiplied by 4 that will give us a total of 1200. So with that in mind, Total flux as of right now calculated is going to be 1,200 flux for these day drops. We are going to be adding everything else as of right now. So let's continue on and let's see how much these stuff are going to cost. 
So we are going to be skipping these crystals for now because we don't actually know the exact value of crystals at this point. However, we are going to be using the crystals in the later calculations, so stay tuned for that. Now we're going to move on onto the concentrated compost. So it's going to take a total of 15 concentrated composts to actually craft one eye of QB flu seed. You know, under a couple of calculations, we have decided that these concentrated composts under the best ways that you can actually obtain them, in which is, if you didn't already know, going to be from the quality compost hub, we have managed to average it out as a total of 40 flux per concentrated compost. Of course, this amount will vary when it comes to RNG. And of course, you will be able to get a couple of other goodies when it comes to opening those quality compost boxes. So the prices may vary. It might be higher, it might be lower. However, the average will be at about 40 flux when it boils down to it. So 40 multiplied by 15 will give us a total of 600 flux. Added to the total earlier, which was 1,200 flux, will put is at a total of 1.8k as of right now. So now let's take a look and see how much the golden watering can will cost and then we will take a look and see how much they will actually cost per plant. So taking a look right now in the store, it is going to cost a total of 5.8k flux. Now let's narrow the number all the way up to 6,300 flux because as I said earlier, we are going to be using the upper bounds limit when it comes to these. So we put it at 6,300 flux per golden watering can. Of course, the prices will vary based on the platform you're playing and the time of buying these materials. So that is going to average us at about 700 flux per seed because you will be able to use one golden watering can on nine seeds at the same time. So 6,300 divided by nine will give you a total of 700. So 700 plus the total amount that we actually had earlier will put us at a total of 2,500 flux as of right now. So now let's move on onto the next part. We're gonna move on onto the prices of the Moonlight Tempers. So let's say that you will actually have these Moonlight Tempers easily by crafting them from these harvesting stations. So, so far as of right now, I'd say the average of these Moonlight Tempers will be at about 750 flux. Plus minus, sometimes it's going to be more, sometimes they are going to be less. So we are going to average that at a higher bound of 750 flux. It is going to vary as I've said earlier, but this is going to be the standard amount as of right now that we are going to be using for this video. So we're going to multiply that by 2, which will give us a total of 1,500 flux. So we now know that the total cost when it comes to farming these seeds will be at a total of 4,000 flux plus 300 crystals and two moonlight bulbs. So as I said earlier, we will take the total revenue that we have obtained, which is going to be 10,500. We are going to minus the total amount or the total cost, which is going to be a total of 6,500 flux for a total of two moonlight bulbs and 300 crystals. So with that in mind, 6,500 flux for two moonlight bulbs and 300 crystals, we can thus simplify that into one bulb and 150 crystals transposed into 3,250 flux. So for every one single moonlight bulb that you farm and for every 150 crystals that you obtain, you will be able to get a total of 3,250 flux. This is not going to include the compost that you will actually be able to craft with the superior organic refuses that you will be able to obtain. However, this is going to be the base amount that you will actually be able to obtain per plant. It's also not gonna include the accounts of, let's say the amount of bubble pods that you will be able to receive. So the amounts will vary. It could increase, it could decrease based on your RNG and however lucky you could probably get. But that is going to be basically how you could actually calculate the profits that you will be able to gain. Essentially, it is going to be how much the total amount of flux you will be able to obtain from these seeds. And then after that, you're going to take that and minus the cost at the beginning 
and then you will be able to gauge how much flux you will be able to obtain when it comes to how much moonlight bulbs that you will you know consume and how much moonlight bulbs you will actually use so i hope this will actually help you to calculate your own earnings when it comes to per seed and you know you could probably do this at any time on your own however there is going to be a couple of spreadsheets when it comes to those so i will link those in the links in the descriptions as well so feel free to check out those stuff i hope you guys enjoyed and learned a thing or two from this guide and i hope to see you guys as usual in the next video peace out